It's gotten a little weird around here. Even weirder than usual. But, you know, still weird. We're talking, first things first, welcome to the week 13 NFL recap. I know, I'm late. <laughs> uh, we're going to go over a lot of results really quickly, you know, and stuff like that. Big things happened. The Panthers let go Baker Mayfield, and it was a mutual agreement. A mutual agreement to let him go. And they, and they, I mean, the Rams, just picked them up off of waivers. So, you know, the Rams trying to save their season, but it's not, it's probably not going to work. But, you know, it is what it is there. Um... Last night, the Saints blew a lead that, you know, they they had this game won against the Buccaneers. But, you know, Tom Brady and company were able to pull some magic out of the hat and get the win in that game, keeping Tampa Bay, you know, in a comfortable position, I'd say. I wouldn't say comfortable, but I'd say, you know, the NFC South is going to need a winner. We already talked about Bills Patriots again. Josh Allen, too much. Um, the Bears, you know, they had the lead against the Packers. Justin Fields was playing pretty good, but then you know, you know, he's been banged up a little bit. But then the, you know, again, the Packers came up. Aaron Rodgers was like, "All right, it's time to save our season," and he put his property down yet again. He put his property, Chicago Bears, down again. Steelers are still in this thing. They beat the Falcons. Steelers are still hanging around in there. Jets Vikings was really, really fun. Really, really good game. Okay, never mind. Jets had, you know, got stopped so many times by the Vikings defense. It wasn't even funny. I mean, they kicked five field goals in this game. I mean, Mike White was playing. He was playing all right. I mean,. The stats may fool you, but I mean, it was all right. It was all right out there, you know. He passed for another 300 yards, but again, the Jets had five field goals in this game. And the Vikings, you know, Cousins to Jefferson, you know, the running backs getting in, you know, involved. I mean, you know, you know, Madison, you know, Dalvin Cook. I mean, it just the Vikings were able to win in the end. And again, late pick by Mike White. Too much. And then the Lions just destroyed the Jags. I'm sitting here like, wait a minute, what's going on here? That doesn't make any sense. Also, AJ Brown got his revenge, which I think I called it. I called it. Pretty easily. The Eagles took care of the Titans. We're just sitting here like, oh, you know, like Derek Henry doesn't fumble. And he did. The Titans, you know, just looked so out of place. In this game against the Eagles, the Eagles just had so much fun with this. I'll tell you another team who had fun, the Browns. Okay, the Browns' defense had a lot of fun. Um, the Texans, them and the Bears, they are now eliminated from playoff contention, if I'm not mistaken. Texans, we kind of knew it was coming at this point. But, I mean, the way the Texans lost was just, it was bad. You know, Peoples Jones returning a punt for a touchdown, punt or a kick for a touchdown. There were two defensive touchdowns, a safety in this game, I think. It was wild. It was wild. Giants commanders tied, so we got another 2020 tie this year. We already had one early in the season. Now we get another tie. So that kind of muddles things in the NFC playoff pitcher. And then the Broncos still have no offense. I mean, Lamar Jackson gets hurt. Tyler Huntley comes in. And the Ravens were barely able to sneak by with this one. It's kind of disappointing there. And then Jimmy Garoppolo gets hurt against the Dolphins. But the 49ers defense, you know, Nick Bosa and company, just too much. That offense with Brock Purdy, of all guys. Mr. Irrelevant. Of all guys, getting it done. Geno Smith leads a comeback drive against the Rams again. 
it seems like the Rams are going to go with Baker Mayfield for a little bit until Matthew Stafford gets back to 100%. But Seahawks able to stay in this thing in the NFC West. You know, it's going to it's make it's going to come down to Niners Seahawks on a Thursday night soon and then you know the Raiders yes they beat the Chargers I'm very surprised that that I mean they did again Chargers defense has just been kind of suspect all year long again and I've been saying it, like everybody's gonna blame Justin Herbert for this but I mean this defense is just it's just not it and it, it showed yet again you know, when you have Devontae Adams just burning guys, oh, oh, just just like that. I mean, Chargers added all these pieces, and things just haven't been working out. But then, you know, the Bengals were able to outlast the Chiefs in a great game. I mean, Joe Burrow has ice in his veins. The whole Bengals team have ice in their veins. They survive against the Chiefs. They beat them for the third straight time this year. This year, I might add. They beat them three times this year. Joe has Patrick's number. And then my Dallas Cowboys decided to show us why this game was supposed to be flexed out because, my goodness, the defensive the defensive slaughter that happened in the fourth quarter. We're talking Matt Ryan out here throwing picks. There's fumbles everywhere. The Cowboys are just... They put up a 50-burger on the Colts. I mean, it's disgusting. It's disgusting for, you know, the Colts. Like, why? 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 Why did you why did you do this? Why why did you why did you keep this game in prime time? You shouldn't have. NFL you shouldn't have. Oh man. Another week of NFL football gone. I don't know I don't know how I feel at this point cuz we're 13 weeks into the 18 week regular season and we still got 5 weeks left. And you know I don't think anybody's clinched a playoff spot yet, either, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think anybody has. But we know two teams are gone from the discussion. So 30 teams left at least in the playoff discussion now. Some teams have more life than others. And we'll continue to find out this week because it's going to be one hell of a week, let me tell you. One hell of an intriguing week of NFL football for week number 14. Oh, boy. Cannot wait. Are you ready? Because I know I'm ready. Who's ready? More insanity coming on Thursday night, I'll tell you.